the true, the beautiful, the great is always childlike and is perennially fresh and young. The great man is always the good man. He is always simple. He draws from, nay, lives in the inexhaustible fountain of divine goodness within. He inhabits the heavenly places, communes with the banished great ones, lives with the invisible. He is inspired and breathes the airs of heaven. He who would be great, let him learn to be good. He will therefore become great by not seeking greatness. Aiming at greatness, a man arrives at nothingness. Aiming at nothingness, he arrives at greatness. The desire to be great is an indication of littleness, of personal vanity and obtrusiveness. The willingness to disappear from gaze, the titter absence of self-aggrandizement, is the witness of greatness. Littleness seeks and loves authority. Greatness is never authoritative and is thereby becomes the authority to which the after ages appeal. Be thy simple self, thy better self, the impersonal self, and lo, thou art great.